So what exactly is an EMA and how can you use it to become a more profitable trader? Well, we're going to talk about it in this video. All that I ask is that you smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, an EMA is an ex exponential moving average. And guys, I got it right here from Google. It is an exponential moving average, EMA, and it's a type of moving average used in technical analysis. Unlike the simple moving average, or what we call the MA, just a moving average, which assigns equal weight to all observations, the EMA places greater significance on recent data points. Now we are gonna give a real example using the Webull platform, using Tesla as a real life example, so just bear with us on all this uh, beginning part. Now, significance, traders use the EMA to generate buy and sell signals based on crossovers and divergences from historical averages. Now the common EMA length includes 10 day, 50 day and 200 day moving averages. Now remember that the EMA provides a higher weight to recent prices, making it more responsive to market changes compared to the SMA. Now, with that said, you have a better basic understanding of exactly what the exponential moving average is. You can see that I have mine set to 45 days. That is this blue line right here. And we are going to use Tesla as an example. Okay, when Tesla begins to push up from these lows of 200 up to these highs, the blue line begins to go up as well with it. Now it is a little bit lagged, a little bit delayed, so it's not going to happen way down here or right at the peak. And you can adjust that too if you wanted. You know, we could also set a five a five day or a ten day or even a twenty day, and it just starts getting a little bit more cluttered, right? As far as the lines and stuff go. But even if you say you use the five day compared to the the uh, forty five day. As you can see, the purple line is a lot more responsive to those moves in the market. And maybe you like to use the five day, but I overall like to use that 45 day. It gives it a little bit more um, of a, an area of support and resistance. And by understanding that as well, how the EMA can act as a support and resistance, you can also become a better trader. And I am going to have a video specifically on support and resistance levels and lines, but on the EMA specifically, or the exponential moving average, and using the 45 day as an example, on the four hour chart, you can see that this had become a support for quite some time. When it broke this area of consolidation after having recent lows below the 45 day moving average, you can see that it was above it. And then it retested and it stayed above it. It retested somewhat. It dropped a little bit. It's not perfect. Dropped a little bit, but then bounced right back up and has been above it ever since, indicating a very nice upward trend line that really we didn't even have to draw. It basically went up this trend line without us having to draw this yellow line right here, okay? Now, by understanding that the EMA line can become support, it can also become resistance just the same on the other end. When it does decide to cross over the blue line and going from highs above the blue line, creating support, to lows underneath the blue line, then creating resistance levels. The blue line will now act as a resistance level. So when it does try to bounce back up, it gets rejected and has to bounce back down until it's able to clear and go back up again. I like to think of it a lot as um, a person driving on a road and the road is straight, has two lines on either side, but say you start veering off to the right off road, you correct and try to get back on the road and then you correct and basically you're just constantly trying to get back onto that road. The blue line is the road and you're a driver that is constantly overcorrecting, trying to get back to that level. So whenever you experience a huge push up, Sometimes it has no choice but to come back down, bounce off of that level, and then go back up. Now, with that said, when it goes below that blue level, huge sell-off can occur, indicating, hey, this is going to sell off now very hard. And the RSI is also indicating that it is oversold 
then that can create more selling pressure and result in the company going down even further. And if you want to see a video on exactly how to use the RSI indicator, what it is, and you know how to use it as another indicator to be a profitable and trader, then uh, I have a video uh, for that as well. You can watch it after this one. Also, if you're interested in learning about how to set up a brokerage account like Webull or even set up your platform to look just like mine on desktop, because a lot of times they do not look like this when you first download it onto your computer or Mac, then you can uh, watch those videos as well all available in my learn to earn lesson library. I also have a lot of great useful videos and helpful videos to help get you started trading and becoming more profitable. All right, guys, thank you. And we will see you all in the next video.